All right, um, this evening's experiment, we will be booting into Haiku OS natively. I've installed Haiku onto three different uh, x86 devices. The first device is a standard, a custom built desktop PC running an AMD uh, Zen 2 uh, CPU uh, 3700. Uh, the laptop here is running a Zen 3 Ryzen uh, 5800 and something and the seven-year-old MacBook Pro is running a Intel Haswell generation CPU uh, four cores eight cores eight cores uh, booting off SSD uh, booting off NVMe and booting off NVMe so what's the hardware support for Haiku OS on these three different devices uh, the desktop PC is the best supported device the only problem I have with the desktop PC is with the ALC 1200 audio chipset. Uh, if I boot Haiku, if Haiku, Haiku OS is the first OS I boot, then sound works perfectly. But if I uh, reboot into Windows or Linux or some other OS and then go back into Haiku, then I've got no audio out. So there's some uh, funky stuff happening with the way that those drivers map the um, digital to audio uh, pins, outputs, and Haiku doesn't know how to, to remap it to something that, that works under Haiku. But if Haiku OS is the first OS I boot, then everything's fine. Audio out works, uh, microphone in works. Uh, Haiku works fantastic on this box. The seven-year-old MacBook Pro has a couple of issues with Haiku. Uh, the first issue is Broadcom uh wi-fi chip uh the 4360 i think it is um that's not supported by Haiku os however i've solved that problem with a five dollar uh, tp link usb wi-fi adapter and that gives me wi-fi the only other problem i have with the macbook pro is the opposite problem i have compared to the problem that i have on the desktop and that is that Haiku, uh, in order to get audio out, Haiku has to be the second OSI boot. If Haiku is the first OSI boot, then I don't have any audio out. And yet there's other, one other problem that I have with this laptop. I only get audio out via the headphone jack. Um, the third device has absolutely fantastic uh, Haiku support. There's only one hardware issue that I have, and that is the built-in trackpad. Uh, touchpad. It uh, uses the I2C bus and there's no driver, uh, mouse driver for Haiku that uses the I2C at this point in time. Other than that, the machine is a uh, fantastic Haiku box. Uh, let's run something just so that you can see uh, how it works. I'll start up my video editing app, me being modest. <laughs> and you can hear audio out coming through the built-in speakers. Uh, let's try the same application on the MacBook Pro. Uh, let's have a look. Um, let's just play a video. And finally, let's, uh, I need to reach for my mouse. Let's try the same experiment on the big desktop box. Let's just try one other application that I built a long time ago. It always uh, get a kick. That was the, one of the first applications that I saw running on BOS, which uh, made me want to try that new OS. Uh, let's try and get some media. Uh, media, media test. Yeah, this will do.
So as you can see, I'm playing five videos without dropping any frames, without any hardware acceleration. Uh, on Haiku, you have your standard uh, Linux applications ported across. You have your LibreOffice, you have your uh, Qt Creator, you have your, let's open something up. You have your critters, your gimps, your even a couple of games like uh, Open Arena. So, uh, my experience with Haiku native apps, uh, which are polished, they work exceptionally well and the system is ridiculously fast. Ported apps, uh, they all have issues. <laughs> With their toolkits, there's always something uh, missing, like uh, sometimes you need to double click a particular viewport before it gets registered. Uh, sometimes you have your cursors disappearing. Unfortunately, uh, the community is very small and um, there's only so many hours a week that uh, developers can invest in working on Haiku. But, you know, it's every year it's getting better and better. Um, you know, give it a couple more years and then Haiku would be a, um, a viable desktop replacement machine. Enjoy your evening.